On the city's southeast side, one high school is choosing the drive through option along with some online aspects. East Central High School is adapting so they can hold a graduation ceremony for their 792 seniors. It's the largest class in the history of East Central. The night team's Courtney Friedman introduces us to the young lady now leading that class as valedictorian. I was actually leaving a day early because I was going to visit my grandparents for spring break and um, I hugged my track coach, Coach Tomlinson, and I said, okay, I'll see you on Monday after spring break. That was the last thing. Emily Hoffman remembers the last day she spent at East Central High School. In the midst of the pandemic, the valedictorian now pre-recording her speech for the 2020 class. Never in a million years would we have imagined that the week before spring break would be the last days of our senior year. After facing the challenges of online learning and social distancing, the graduates and their families won't miss out on pomp and circumstance on May 30th. Principal Shane McKay says graduates will be in a parade of cars, each with their own family members inside. We're going to be broadcasting on uh, YouTube Live and Facebook Live. Graduates can also tune into an FM radio station carrying the ceremony. After their name is called, graduates will be able to drive up to a staging area. Our trustees will be handed their diploma uh, after it's been, of course, uh, sanitized and wiped down as per the, the guidelines. Uh, and we'll be able to hand and congratulate the, uh, the senior uh, that will be in the front passenger uh, side. East Central will also be playing speeches online. Hoffman's speech will be one of them. She's now set to attend the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado to begin her dream of attending medical school. As she looks into the future, Hoffman recognizes the silver lining in an abrupt end to her senior year. We really had normal last days of high school, and I really think that's actually um, a blessing in some aspect because instead of kind of grieving the separation that's about to happen, you just enjoy being with your friends and teachers. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Oh, with such a large class, the graduation ceremony will be split into three groups and three hours. It'll run from 8 in the morning until 11 a.m. on May 30th. There will also be a photographer on hand to help capture this moment.